Are you having difficulty changing the resolve.config files which the name server is always pointing to 127.0.0.53? Let me show you what I mean by that. If you do cat and you go etc and you go resolve to that same file, you can see by default it's always pointing to this directory and you're wondering why I can't change it. Let me show you the reason behind it. So before you do anything, I like to log in as a root user because all the changes we're going to make will be on the root level here. So if you do ls minus al and you go to that same directory and look at the, the file, you can see that it's actually a symbolic link to this particular file. And now if you were to copy this content here like this and you basically do a concatenate and run this file, you can see the content of the file matches this one here mainly because it's a symbolic link. So there's two ways to get around this. One of them is actually to change this or to create your own custom file on the etc directory. I like to go with the number two because this particular file is always being used by the systemd resolve uh, service. So let me show you what I mean by that as well. So if you go systemctl and you go status and you do uh, systemd with a D like this and you hit enter, you can see that the service is running. So this particular uh, service uses that stub resolve uh, as one of the file and there's another file that you use is a resolve.config file if you go let me go this here and if you go run and uh, system d and then there's a resolve directory as well same location and then let's see if i can see both yeah you can see these two these two files are the files being used by these services here so um, I, I don't like to edit them i like to create one under the asset thread directory so before we do anything Let's uh, stop our service here, this service here, let's stop it and let's have a look at and make sure that it is actually inactive or stopped. Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and uh, nano, which is my text editor, under etc. I'm going to create a new file, similar structure kind of thing, and basically going to give it a revision number or my name to indicate that I made the change. And over here, basically I'm going to say namespace like that. And you can put multiple namespace if you want. Like uh, this are Google DNS server there. So X, yes, enter. So I mean, if you cat in there and look at the etc directory resolve, this new file of yours, they are all in there. Now, basically what you have to do is to uh, delete or decommission your existing resolve.config. Let's do remove etc resolve.config and nuke it right after get go and then if you do ls minus al and you go etc that particular file uh, is not there anymore right you can see only that comes up now to do the symbolic link you do ln s and then you point to that file that you just created resolve and then give it a new symbolic name which is supposed to be exactly the same as what it used to be before so that now it points to this rather than point to the other one so now if you do ls resolve config you can actually see that that particular file is there and this file is there and this file now points to this file here now if you do cat and if you look at the content of that file this file you can see that it now follows the file that i edited with that all being said let's go systemctl and and basically restart like that so and then have a look at the status it should be showing green and running and running like this so I'm gonna control C to stop now if you were to go and look at the content of that file it should it will maintain its original state and it will stay there perpetually like that if it's like this tips and tutorial please like and subscribe other than that you have a good day bye now